He's got the toys. He's got showmanship. And he's got sex appeal. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, from the great Southwest, here's the guru of gadgets, the dapper and dashing Don Bain, the Gadget Professor. Gadget Professor. Hello, everyone, and welcome. My name is Don Bain, and of course, I am the Gadget Professor coming to you live and in color from our Scottsdale, Arizona studio. Welcome, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. Actually, when you watch this episode, I will let you in on a big tip. I am in Cuba right now. Yes, that's right. I'm in Cuba. I am very excited, and actually, the show... Uh, is posted from Cuba. I pre-recorded this a day ago, and uh, I uploaded it. So uh, if you watch my Facebook page uh, uh, starting Friday, this Friday, uh, you'll see some updates, some photos uh, that I took while I was in Cuba. So I'm, I'm, I'm really juiced up. I'm really excited. I got my camera and all the gear, and uh, we'll talk about that uh, at some particular point. But uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Today we have an interesting show. I am going to show you some gadgets that uh, you may or may not be aware of, but uh, one of the things we're going to talk about is this wonderful Go Mic by Samson. This is a great little device, and we'll check that out in a minute. And then also there's a variety of cables here that uh, you may or may not be aware of if you're using the uh, iPad or the iPhone. And uh, I'm finding these cables to be absolutely in invaluable. And uh, let's get right into the review. Uh, as I mentioned, I'm going to talk about this uh, Samsung Go microphone. And uh, this is a very cool device. It's portable. And if you're looking for a microphone uh, that's small, portable and does a great job I'll tell you the Samsung microphone is really the way to go uh, this particular microphone uh, as I said is made by Samsung it's totally portable and uh, it's very light and it comes in a, a, a small little case like so and uh, let's take a look on camera two and uh, we'll get a close-up of this thing all right, so here it is. It comes in this nice little pouch. Of course, here's the box, and uh, it opens up like such. And this is the cutest little thing, and it's so well made. Uh, here it is here. We'll put this pouch over here. Here's the actual microphone, and I'm telling you, this thing is very solid. It has a little plate here that you could see, and this is solid metal. This is not plastic, and uh, there's a heavy-duty clip here. So if you pull this clip back, this microphone slides right out and uh, again this is not plastic it's metal it's very well made and essentially what it is is its own base it's its own stand so you can put the mic like so uh, you can bend it pretty much any way you want and uh, it will also come around on the side now one of the interesting things about this mic of course it's portable but uh, if you have uh, an iPad uh, such as I do, or pretty much any tablet, doesn't have to be a, uh, an iOS pad, it could be a, a droid or whatever type of tablet you have. So this clip right here actually expands and we can put this right on top of the, uh, the device like so. So let's pick this up here, move this back a little bit. So there you have it and this will actually bend any which way you want you can slide it on the side, you can bend this down, and uh, I'll tell you, it's a handy little device. And what this does is it actually makes you sound a lot better than the built-in microphone. And I don't care what kind of tablet you have, the microphone that's built inside a tablet does not compare to an external mic. What I like about this is not only is it portable, uh, you can put it in your pocket, but it gives you three different positions, and uh, there's a switch right on this, plus you have a headset. So let's take a close-up and see what we got here. All right, uh, here's the microphone, and if you'll notice, on this side you have the little uh, jack area. Here is your headset, where you can put a little headset in, okay? And then on the side, so clever. On the side right here, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a switch. And what it allows you to do is essentially to switch between the microphone patterns. So you can switch between cardioid or omnidirectional pickup patterns. It's 16 bit, it's 4.1 kilohertz resolution. And this gives you a wonderful uh, response, no question about it. Let's take a look at some of the features that this actually has. 
and uh, we'll go on the website here and as you can see here uh, it's portable USB condenser microphone it's Mac compatible and it's PC compatible you don't need any drivers whatsoever this is a custom compact design that clips to a laptop or as I mentioned before you can just have it sit on its own on this little uh, I guess it's called a built-in desk stand if you will I mean there it is uh, it's very very convenient to use this is perfect for for music recording podcasting field recording voice recognition uh, chat voice over internet and definitely uh, a webcasting uh, the little switch again gives you tremendous versatility and included in this is your uh, USB cable which is uh, right here and also a little clip now one thing I'm going to point out is on the side here I mentioned and I just quickly mentioned it that there's a little jack for a headset and what that allows you to do by putting in your headset and then putting it in your ears uh, you actually can block out the sound that's around you and that's very helpful and there's no latency and what I mean by latency is sometimes you talk in the microphone and then a second later it hits your ear and it drives you crazy it's really annoying and it's very hard to concentrate on who you're speaking with so uh, this particular Samsung mic uh, eliminates the latency and it allows you to put the headset in so you can hear yourself talk nice and clear and uh, it's really really an incredible buy uh, that said, I'm going to show you something else that you may not be aware of, and that's where we get into all these little jacks that are that are floating around the place. Uh, this particular microphone comes with uh, this type of a USB connector. Okay, it's not the standard Android. I think it's a Type 3 uh, uh, connector, mini connector. But in any event, it comes with it, and it just slides very simply right in there like so. Now clearly this has a USB end to it and there's no way you're going to plug this in uh, to pretty much uh, any iPad for sure because you need a lightning connector and that's where this device comes in and I got to tell you this is one of the handiest devices around and even though it's a tad expensive uh, you definitely want to get one of these. Now this device is called a lightning USB to camera adapter. And there's two of them. There's the old one, which is USB 2, and that's the one that I have, and I'll show you a close-up of that. So there's just your old USB plug on one end, and there's your lightning connector on the other end. And there's nothing magic about it, but essentially what it will do is when you plug this into your iPhone or your iPad, pretty much whatever model you had, as long as it has a lightning connector, uh, you now are able to port all kinds of devices into your iPad or your iPhone so I can essentially take this device and uh, even though it has a USB connector what I can do is put it into this just like so it's very simple and now I plug this directly into my iPad and I gotta tell you uh, this connector for me saves the day because now I could use this, I could put this in my pocket, and if I have to do a quick podcast or a uh, quick PR announcement, uh, this gives me great sound and portability. I could not port this microphone, the Samsung microphone, this Go mic, into my iPad uh, without this connector. Now, another thing I'm going to call your attention to is I mentioned they make a couple different one, uh, different devices like this. Uh, this is the old one. This is about 29 bucks. It's a lot of money for this stupid cord, but you know what? It's worth it because I use it all the time. The other thing that I'll call your attention to is uh, they make a, a, a three, a lightning to USB three. This is the one that I would buy, even if you have components that are two, because everybody's going or has gone USB three. USB three is actually getting old. And uh, this same device, it looks the same way, but if you'll notice right here on the right hand side, uh, you'll see that this has not only the USB connector like this one does, but it has another lightning port here. And you're saying, why would I want that? So I have a lightning port here, and I have a USB and I also have another lightning port. The reason that's there, quite frankly, is that's what you plug into your power pack. And you really want to keep in mind that anytime you're using an, an Apple device, iPhone, iPad, and you're plugging one of these cords into it and using a microphone or other device, it really sucks down the power. I mean, really sucks down the battery on your iPhone or your iPad. Like, it just sucks it away. Uh, also, this takes a little bit of power to or your device, whatever the device is. So by having this extra jack, uh, power jack on the side here, all right, 
What that allows you to do is to alleviate the drain and power that device separately. So you really want to get a device that has an extra power port on there and uh, it will allow everything to operate a lot smoothly. Your battery will last significantly longer on your iPad. Although this doesn't have any power uh, built into it, it does use the power from your iPad or your iPhone. So again, when you're using these types of devices, if you're using a 2 uh, 2.0 device and you're satisfied with it and you don't feel it drains the battery that's fine me I use the things for a while I like to have that extra power source I'm also going to point out to you that uh, you can get an HDMI connector same thing same same type of uh, idea lightning connector on one end now I'm going to point out right off the bat that again same idea but here's another power port there's your uh, HDMI and there is the power point a PowerPoint power pack supply. So you're going to put your lightning connector in here and it's going to go back into your power pack. This is very, very important. Now, there are cheaper devices. This particular one, which is a lightning rod connector, lightning rod, which is a lightning connector to HDMI, works real well. It's real expensive. It's about 50 bucks. Uh, you can buy alternatives like this. And this is actually a kind of a better deal, if you will, uh, because this particular cord is very heavy duty. We'll take a look at it on camera three. Um, and it, again, it's USB. Uh, again, I have a USB port. I can put this back to a power supply, USB power pack, and there's my connector. So you want a connector that has three ports on it, if you will. One jack is for the device, whether it's uh, USB, in this case it's HDMI. I have another one that's going to plug this device into the computer. So now I have the HDI, HDMI into the computer. And of course here I have the power source. So you always want to try to have a power pack pushing in some juice, some extra juice to protect the life of the iPad or iPhone. So I hope I haven't confused you, but uh, uh, in any event, uh, these little devices work wonders. Uh, and allow your iPad a lot more flexibility. Also, when you have a mic like this, if you have a droid system, no worries, uh, you can go directly into the droid. Uh, however, it's such a handy device, it sounds so good that uh, I really like to pipe it into my iPad because I could essentially go somewhere, have the iPad, have a great microphone, and uh, I'm on the road. All I do is just turn this down, put it in there, put it back in the case like so, and uh, it fits real nice and I have a reasonably high quality microphone and uh, the cost on this is crazy look at this so check this price out here we go this is Amazon 40 bucks it's prime it's a prime choice so you know that this microphone is good and I gotta tell you it's well worth the value it's called the Samson go mic portable USB condenser mic I guarantee you you will be very happy with this particularly if you're doing Skype calls uh, you're gonna sound better and particularly if you're on the road uh, this mic will make you sound like a pro no question about it alright let's take a look at some apps of the day this particular app I have been using for about a month now and uh, I got to tell you, I like it, I like it, I like it. It's uh, very simple to use. It's called VigTask. It's Smart Task Management. Uh, if you ever had a bunch of things to do, like a to-do list, uh, this is the way to go. Uh, I paid a buck ninety-nine for it. Yeah, I sprung two bucks for it, but uh, it's so simple to use, and it keeps me so organized. And I, I just enjoy the app. There's a bunch of these out there. Uh, I had a couple emails, uh, I don't know, maybe two or three weeks ago about, you know, they, people want a, a, a task list. Some of them are a pain in the neck. What one do I use? Well, as you guys know and gals know, I always like free stuff, but uh, this uh, this particular app was worth the two bucks. It's called VigTask, and uh, it's just simple to use. Uh, another app that I use, I, I'm getting all these questions like, what apps do you use? What apps do you use? So I recently started journaling, and uh, it's something I've always been interested in but never have taken the time to do. And I've looked at a lot of journaling apps. If you're wondering what journaling is, you just you just take a couple pictures and uh, of yourself or of where you've been. doesn't have to be yourself. Uh, where you travel to, what you find interesting during the day. And then at the end of the day, although it could be any time of the day, you just 
speak into the phone. I use my little microphone. Actually, I use this Go mic. Uh, you can use the mic in your uh, in your smartphone or your tablet, whatever you want. But you just talk about the day, things that are on your mind. It's a personal diary. And what I like about it is you can reflect back on uh, what's happening in your life and uh, get a, a neat calendar view of it. So what I chose to use, and uh, again, this one wasn't free. This was about nine bucks, and I never spend nine bucks on an app. But this one, this one actually was worth it, believe it or not. And it's called Day One, and Day One makes a bunch of different apps uh, for journaling, for keeping notes and uh, calendars and things of that nature. This is probably the best one out there, I think. Uh, but here you can see you have a bunch of photos that you can take, and. Uh, it, it, you know, if you're looking for a fantastic journaling app or a great app for logging and recording various events and milestones of your life, then they say by far away, day one is the best pick. I have to agree with that. Uh, this this one lets you print out if you want. Uh, I'm sorry, it's $4.99 for the uh, for the ver for the for this app, $4.99. Uh, but it allows you to 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 actually uh, geotag your photos. You can have as many photos as you want. Uh, it also synchronizes between your various smart devices. So I have an iPhone, I have an iPad, uh, I have a Droid, and uh, it will synchronize between all three. So it doesn't matter what device I'm on. I have my own account, and each smart device knows that that's my account, and it will sync automatically, seamlessly. So if I'm on my iPad and do some journaling, all my notes are there. Now, here's a synopsis of what that page will look like. So there's from the 28th, the 27th, the 25th, the 17th, all the different days. You don't have to do this every day. If you want to take a photo, you just click right there. You can use a photo that you've already taken in your camera roll, or you can just click uh, uh, the camera and take a photo at that moment of you or whatever you want. And if you want to add the journaling notes, you just hit the plus and just start typing or talking. Uh, again, very, very, very simple to use. And uh, these guys have a very robust uh, uh, product line and different ways to scan things, plain text. You can send things to people. Uh, there's not much that this particular app does not do. Well worth the five bucks. And I got to tell you, I, as I said, I've been interested in journaling for a long time. I never did it. Just started doing it about a month ago. And uh, I, I really like it for a variety of reasons. I, I, I can't, uh, can't tell you exactly why, but uh, I love it. All right. Uh, here's here's a, a thing that uh, I've gotten not complaints but like errors about so I've told you to go to this uh, BGR.com page uh, if you want the current free uh, apps of the day and these are primarily for the iPhone and I'm not an iPhone snob don't get me wrong uh, tons of apps that we talk about each week for uh, the droid system but uh, this BGR really does a great job of giving you uh, free apps every day and it might be three or four it might be one or two whatever but the thing you got to remember folks is they're free for the day so if you log on to this site at night or the day after they're not going to be free now some people have said they've logged on during the day when the site has come up with the new apps and they cost money well you gotta read you gotta read and what this says very clearly here is uh let's see uh there's no way of telling how long these apps will be free these sales could end in an hour after posting or a week from now they just don't know so the only thing this site guarantees is that they're free at the time of the posting and if you click on it and here's the key if you click on one of these apps and it shows that it's there's a price like a buck or three bucks it's charging you if it says get then it's free I don't know what the window of opportunity is to get these apps I don't know uh, there have been many times when the sites come up and I jump on it and they cost money so I think one of the reasons, actually I know one of the reasons these app companies want to get on this site is because it gets exposure for them and this site is tremendous, has a tremendous following. So you're going to go to an app like uh, Cal Calendar, okay, which is a five hour app and it's a great app 
and it was free and I happened to get it when it was free and I happened to tell someone else that it was free and they went on like two minutes later and it was back up to I don't know whatever it was five bucks and they're like it's not free and what happened was in that period of time it went from not free or I'm sorry from free to not free so the point of these companies going on there is they give you the uh, exposure and you say, Jesus, Caltech really looks nice, this calendar. Uh, I'm going to buy it anyway. And that's that's why they do that. So uh, if you're on this BGR site, it's a great site. You just got to keep hammering it. The other thing is I don't know when these apps come out. It's not like every day at noon they come out. Uh, I just don't know. So hopefully that, that clears the confusion up. They're free for the day. But they're only there for so long, and I think a lot of it is, you know, they might give away an hour's worth. They might give away two hours' worth. Who knows? So it's kind of catch as you can, if you will. All right, enough about that. Here is another uh, app that uh, I use, and it's pretty good. It's called Red Laser. And essentially what this will do is it will scan in a barcode, and what's neat about it, it gives you comparisons to everybody else who's selling the same item. So you're going to see, I don't know, like like this cable. You're going to scan the barcode in. You could be at Target or wherever you are, Walmart, and boom, it's going to instantly show you what Amazon's selling it for, You know what it's, what it's at at Costco or whatever, and you'll see a comparison. So you just scan it in, and boom. It shows you everywhere that's selling it, and then you can make the determination uh, if you want to buy it or not. And it drives the people at Best Buy insane. But if you're at Best Buy, they do do price match. So all you got to do is look at the item you're going to buy, even if it's on sale, a camera or whatever, scan it in with this red laser, bam, you're going to see everybody else who's selling it. And all you got to do is say, hey, Target's selling the same camera for 10 bucks less. You show them that, and guess what? Best Buy will match the price. I've never had a problem. As a matter of fact, Fry Electronics will match the price, and uh, that's astonishing. Uh, but a lot of people don't know that, and also a lot of people are intimidated to say, hey, wait a minute, can you, can you give me the better price? Hey, it's your money. Might as well save it. All right. Here is another app called Word Lens Translator. Now, I'm going to be using this in Cuba because I know a little Spanish, like hola, como esta, things like that. I don't know a lot. Uh, I took Spanish in grade school. And we used to have to say, hola, Isabel, como estas? Estoy bien, gracias. Y tú bien, gracias. Oye, ¿quién es ese chico? Es un amigo mío. That's all I know. And it's upsetting. I wish I knew more. Anyway, enter this word lens translator. So the way this is supposed to work is if I have to go to the bathroom and I see a sign, I, I don't know what it means and there's no picture. So, like, I can hold up my phone now, take a picture of that sign, and this is going to translate it in English for me so I know what to do. So, I'm going to check this app out. Uh, I did load it on my phone, and uh, it's available for the Droid and uh, for, your, for your iOS. And uh, I'm going to try it out, and uh, I'll let you know if it works. I have no idea. I have no idea. And then I loaded this app called the uh, talk to me classic so uh <laughs> i'm gonna try to use this app too uh this is a uh, an app that uh, apparently you can just speak into it in english because that's barely what i know and uh, it's going to translate to you in whatever language you want like spanish or whatever the case may be uh, again it's a free app 37 30, 3,800 people have used the app available for both the droid and the uh, iphone uh, I don't know. Uh, it got a good rating. I'm going to try it out and uh, and see if it works for me. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Uh, it will be an interesting experience. All right. Uh, here, here's a cool app. This is a cool app. Again, available for the uh, Droid and iOS. Uh, it's called PhotoMath, and uh, I really like this. So all you do is write down the mathematical problem on a piece of paper, okay? And then you take a picture of it, and it's going to solve the problem. It's really cool. It's a free app, and uh, this is kind of neat. So, uh, you know, here's three, 3 times 4 plus 8, whatever the case. I'm 3x plus 4 equals 8. Uh, you just, you don't know the answer. You just write it down on a piece of paper, and uh, it's going to solve the problem for you. So uh, I usually do this in my head. Uh, sometimes I get one that's really long, so I, I haven't tried it out, but it looks kind of neat. And it has, like, basically handwriting recognition built into this. They got a lot of crazy apps out there. This one looks like fun. Don't show this to your kids because if they're supposed to learn this stuff, 
you know, you're going to start having the kids rely on the phones, the smartphones, the smart tablets. They're not going to be able to do anything without their phone. It's crazy. We'll have a whole show on that one day. I mean, it's just nuts. So here's what this app looks like uh, in real. It's uh, <laughs> you scan the app. There it is. You scan it. It has the program just written out. Uh, your formula just written out and this crazy thing is going to solve it uh it's 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 insane uh i haven't tried it but uh it has step-by-step -step instructions and uh it, it it looks pretty cool i don't know it looks pretty cool we we're gonna have to check that out and see uh see if it really works but again don't show this to your kids so I, uh, I'm going to wrap it up. Uh, I hope I'm not seasick at this point, but uh, I'll be back tomorrow in the uh, USA. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed the show. And uh, I'll have some pictures. I'll have some tech stuff that I'm going to try to do on the boat. It's going to be insane, folks. See everyone next Thursday. <laughs>The Gadget Professor is produced by Don Bain. Multimedia Communications, LLC. If you would like your product reviewed on The Gadget Professor or would like to appear on The Gadget Professor, contact us via email at thegadgetprofessor at gmail.com. The opinions expressed on the program by the host, guests, call-in listeners, or chatters are solely the opinions of the original source who expressed them. And thank you for watching The Gadget Professor. Gadget Professor.